Hello and welcome to a very important Bitcoin technical analysis update for you where I am going to be covering the most important support and resistance levels here on the Bitcoin chart as well as explaining why we saw this rapid and very big move to the downside. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one. Shout out to CryptoFX for requesting this update uh, and it's more than a pleasure to bring this to you. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy it and uh, yeah, you totally appreciate me taking the time for this. So um Let's begin with this drop that has occurred. Uh, so we can clearly see. Uh, firstly, let, let's go over why this drop has happened. Okay, it's, it's really obvious. Okay, uh, basically, what's the pattern that, that's been happening on Bitcoin thus far? In these ranges is obviously with you know we form sideways consolidation we move up sideways consolidation move up sideways consolidation what's been happening is the the first low made has then formed higher lows to move up again first low made higher lows to move up again this was the anomaly or the difference from our other patterns we formed our four, first low okay so we formed a first low then you go on to swing failure pattern to high more or less okay so you swing failure so you come up and take the highs you clear and close back up below it okay this whole region up here for me was really uh, dangerous to long up here so I didn't open any swing longs up here um, you know, for me, this was too dangerous of a place because of the fact we were moving up here on decreasing volume and moving up on decreasing volume is bearish. So I was not uh, comfortable opening any uh, new swing longs up here. But basically, we swing forward the high. And instead of forming a higher low, we just ended up coming straight back down. OK, so there was no higher low put in after this. It was just literally the downtrend continuing lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And then you take the low of the range, which is the first time this has happened in quite a while taking the first low made, not happened, not happened, here it happened. And obviously people trail up their stop loss, trail up their stop loss, trail up their stop loss. And then as soon as you take that low, you get lots, millions upon millions of liquidations happening as people are either getting liquidated out of their position or stopped out of their position. How can we see this for, rather than me just saying it, but actually put evidence and facts to paper? Well, just come across and look at a footprint chart. Okay, so we take a look at our open interest, take a look at the liquidations that are happening there, the volume that's coming in. It's really clear that it's a, uh, you know, lot of li a liquidation run, essentially. Um, so that's basically what wh why the reason we got this swift move to the downside. OK, so that in in, in its sense is, is sort of, um, you know, on the midterm time frame, one has to say it's, it's good. To, you know, I was wanting to see this retrace because it gives a more of a healthy vibe to the uptrend. OK, you want to see people get stopped out. You want to see retraces in an uptrend. You don't want to just see up and up and up and up. That is not what you want to see if you're in this for the medium term. OK, uh, so the way that I was trading this yesterday um, and this is the, like, the update I was giving like last night is that, um, you know, I was wanting to see this retrace and I was actually trading off the CME futures gap. OK, so my trade in particular, the way I was laddering into this, well, that's not because I wanted to go onto here. So the CFD futures gap. OK, as we all know, the last few gaps had got very close and front run the gap, front run the gap, front run the gap, each by like 10, 20 dollars. Uh, so my uh, trade was to front run this gap again. And uh, that so my I had a entry while we were uh, back up at like 10,200 ish just below um, for looking to trade that uh, futures gap, basically. OK, so I got filled on this one at uh, 8,994 and then I sold for, you know, profits profit at the end of the day. So it was a winning trade, I suppose. And this is a, what, about $100 in BTC value, but. Uh, then sold that at 9,925. So, you know, not, not uh, nothing to shout home about. But nevertheless, that was my trade of wanting to see this retrace. And the reason why the bearish signs were there is now I want to move on to explain the bearish signs. Because we got, obviously, uh, well, if you were like, laddering in or whatever, but you could have got filled on this. And then the bearish sign was that we come back up and we retested support and it flipped to resistance. OK, so this was when I was, you know, cautious. We made the low, we made the lower high. And as we broke this low to make, you know, the bearish market structure off of the rejection, that's where I closed out for, a, you know, a slight profits. Um, so that was the trade that I last took. And as you can see, I am now in no position at all. OK, so I'm not in a position right now. Um, so yeah, this is now how I'm looking to trade it per se uh, after after this. So on, in terms of like bearishness, so let's firstly cover that. Okay, I must say just put it out there straight away that I am more bullish, by the way, still. But nevertheless, let's cover the bearish scenario, and that's that. And unless we can claim 10k, this is a, a support flip to resistance, and we will head down lower. Okay, so line in the sand is this 10,000. Let's just say 10,100 until you can claim 10,100, uh, and you don't feel comfortable trading down here for you know if you just don't, don't you want a bit of confirmation or whatever it is then. You could just wait until 10,000 is reclaimed and just, just you know, if it goes down lower, it goes down lower. And, you know, you can just wait until a confirmation of a signal has, has come to you that this is turning around. Because at the moment, you don't have that. So buying right now is a little bit, 
uh, just like catching a falling knife, really. Okay, you want to wait for at least this short-term time frame confirmation, which you do not have at the moment. So, hence why I'm being cautious at the moment. So. I am bullish, but I'm not entering a long right now until I get my trigger for a long, uh, which hasn't happened yet. So, um, yeah, the bearish scenario is that until you claim 10K, this, this can come down and test lower levels such as the weekly. And that brings me on to the support. So currently, I would say you have this support of this old channel. This old channel had been lovely. I was trading this channel very nice indeed. And the middle of this channel it sits at around uh, 9,725. Uh, yeah, this was slightly changed because my this was before the low of my channel and this was a $100 range. Uh, but I've adjusted it slightly and now we can see that the uh, old low is actually the middle. So this is nevertheless 9,725 is the local support coming down to around 9,500 as, as the very low support. And then 10,000 as resistance. So these are your three key levels until you can claim a resistance, either this resistance back up here as support, you could say that it's bearish, all of this. Uh, but in my opinion, the way I'm looking to trade this, I want to see this range bound. So I'm very much aware that we have New York Open happening. So I would like to see volatility pick up into New York Open. OK, so that's where we could see the continuation to the downside lower uh, or, you know, a V-shaped recovery. I must say, though, in terms of probability, obviously, this is the thing. In my personal opinion, the most probable scenario is that we actually stay sideways a little bit here longer and range bound. Um, you know, trading is about probabilities. There are no certainties. We absolutely could just go straight down or straight back up. But I don't think it's the most probable. I am much more expecting sideways consolidation validation for the rest of the day. Um, but I'm aware of New York Open <laughs> in a few hours, so I will be trading that. So, um, you know, if it happens, the volatility, then great. But I am more expecting a sideways range. And uh, what I want to see is continuous aggressive selling at the lows uh, while we hold support. OK, so as long as we can maintain support with really aggressive selling. So in this period, so the last nearly coming on 12 hours, we've seen 281 million sold at market. That's great uh, because if you do claim 10K, you get a lot of trap traders. So, um, you know, I'm not in a long position at the moment. Okay, so I'm not in the long at the moment, but I am looking to take one shortly. Once I've had my trigger, once I've got my confirmation that I require for my setups, I will take a long. Obviously, if that confirmation never comes, then I'll happily take a short. It's not like I'm against shorting Bitcoin because I've done it many, many, many times. But it's just at the moment, I view this more as a back test of support when we come up to the higher term time frames. All we do so far is resistance flip to support, you know, resistance flip to support, resistance flip to support. Could we do it again here? Absolutely, we could. So resistance or flip to support. Uh, and until, you know, on the bigger trend, although this is a bearish engulfing candle, yeah, that, that's quite bearish on the short term, bearish engulfing. But nevertheless, I would still like to see the uh, resistance flip to support or alternatively, we hold this low. We still seek, uh, you know, aggressive selling onto the lows. And, um, you know, that that would be a really bullish sign. OK, so that would be really bullish if we can get that. So I must say that my sort of opinion of this on the midterm is is that this is a healthy pullback. OK, and we will, we will continue the uptrend. But uh, with that said, I must obviously stress that I am I'm playing this cautiously. I'm not just going to long here with no confirmation. I, I need my confirmation. I need my trigger before I long. If I don't get that, then I will short, but I am much more bullish. And I, I believe that right now, okay, 90, you know, 95% of the market is going to be absolutely so scared. There's going to be so much fear, so much confusion. You're going to start seeing all the charts come out on Twitter of, oh, here we go back to 3K. You know, this was the top. Sell, 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 sell. You know, you're going to start to see all that come out. In my opinion, you know, I like to say I'm a very wise, knowledgeable, knowledgeable trader. You know, I've been around for the years and, um, you know, this is we see this every day. We literally see these moves every day. So for me, this is nothing out of the ordinary. This is still a healthy uptrend. This is just a retest. And I am looking for longs, just waiting for my confirmation, if I'm honest. But um, yeah, there's there's that. Um, so, yeah, I must say that that is uh, what I wanted to mention. There, Obviously, alts are pulling back pretty heavily while we get this volatility in Bitcoin. So you have to be cautious, cautious on altcoins. But, um, you know, that said, you know. I'm more interested in only trading Bitcoin today, if I'm honest. Um, and I would like, I like to end the video with saying that, you know, if you like, would like to see my, you know, because obviously in last night's Champions live stream, okay, I was giving like updates and shout out to Tom here who, uh, you know, took very good notes on my live stream of that 9780 as, as a support level. And uh, see, these are some of the notes that he made. He made a few pages of really good notes. And, um, you know, this is what I was explaining in the live stream. And these are the notes. Shout out to him because, you know, this is what I mean. You put in this type of work and you will get rewarded. And he has got rewarded by being in a profitable trade. <laughs> so, um, you know, this is like, you know, this for me is like so proud to see people like learning like this. It's, br it's absolutely brilliant. And, uh, you know, what I was explaining in the stream last night was obviously we're in the uptrend. Reaches a point where you're going to reach a high. 
can't break through this and you will get the stop punt and that is exactly what we've seen how could we you know um, envision that this was going to potentially be a top and it was basically for the volume okay so then moving up on that declining volume was you know the bearish sign didn't mean it had to happen there we could have still continued up again it's all about probabilities but the swing failure and then not forming the higher low and just continuous trends taking the lows that was that was the real you know big confirmation that you know you could have had a, a stock market if you even wanted to i didn't trade like that because i'm more aggressive on the longs than the shorts but you know, you know, open to how you want to trade it sort of thing. Again, this video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a trader. You literally need to do your own research. <laughs> just because I'm looking to buy here doesn't mean you should. Um, you know, not financial advice. Let's just make that clear. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Tom. Putting in that sort of work is, is brilliant to see. And um, I would just like to say, actually, so this is, like, I suppose, where I can just show myself a little bit that uh, today, for example, I gave like a video update. I'm doing like these nearly every day now. So I do like these video live streams. Um, so actually live streams, I'm doing them most days now for the champions group. But this is an update that I gave today to the champions, contenders and players, which I do like daily updates, but today I've done it in a video format where, you know, if you want to know exactly what I'm looking for, my exact triggers, uh, you know, to know where I, you know, I'll happily post in the group for like when I, um, you know, enter my longs uh, or take a short. You know, if you want those sort of live real time updates, then obviously, you know, you'd have to come along and join Chart Champions. And I think you can see from some of the comments, um, you know, people, people really like the content I, I give. So that's brilliant to see makes me very very proud and obviously you have to appreciate that you know the, the level of uh, explanations that i give on twitter or that i give on youtube are they're not going to be the same amount of detail and thorough explanations as that triggers that i what i would give to my members and i hope you appreciate that uh, there's there's going to be a difference between uh you know what i give out or to to the general public and what i give to the you know the people under my mentorship there's there's you know obviously there's going to be a difference so you know if you really want to know exactly how i'm trading this my triggers uh, and real big, like in depth, thorough updates, uh, then obviously chartchampions.com is the place for you. And on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a live stream covering open interest and funding, two major, majorly important parts of trading that not many people know about. So if you're interested in learning about that, then yeah, on Wednesday, I will be doing that live stream. And obviously, last night's live stream would have been helpful as well. So, um, yeah, there's that. So, uh, yeah, short term playing cautiously on the longs. I must say, I'm, I'm cautious until I get my trigger. Um, but then once I get that, I'll happily, yeah, look to long this up to 10K first. And they've claimed that, you know, 10,400 10, 10, ish. But, um, yeah, on the flip side, okay, if we cannot click, you know, if we don't get any triggers to long and we cannot break 10K support, you know, 10K resistance, then we will naturally be heading down towards 9,500 again. Um, so, yeah, I must. And final words is mid midterm. I, I remain bullish, and you know I'm I'm definitely <laughs> far from scared or, or panicking or anything like that on this move. You know, for me this is healthy healthy back test until proven otherwise. Okay, until proven otherwise, this is just a nice back test. Okay, so I'm really not worrying. Looking to get longs uh, shortly. Um, so yeah. Thank you once again, everybody. I hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this video and appreciate the time. I'm sure you can still see the value, although this is obviously not as in-depth as my paid stuff. I'm, I'm sure you can see the value and uh, you know, in this video. I really hope that you can, can appreciate and understand that. And um, you know, I've given you the key levels uh, for what you can be looking for for support. So, okay, obviously this channel, make a note of this channel because it's very, 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 very nice indeed. So make a note of these channel prices and then obviously your weekly and daily, very important indeed. So thank you once again, everybody. I'm going to wrap this one up and uh, yeah, cheers. Thank you and have a brilliant day. Bye.